What's up guys, it's Agent Juicy and in this video today we're going to be looking at ebook reader, PDF reader and stuff like that. Uh, this question came from the username Pre Okay, yep, he asked me I'm waiting for your videos on documents must have apps on the Q10 uh, please do it when you get some spare time. He asked me like a couple times though. So I've finally got some time, so I'm going to do it for him. Today, what we're going to be looking at is the ebook PDF viewer. We have on the BlackBerry Q10, we have a number of uh, apps that we could use to uh, get for viewing PDFs. First off, Adobe Flash or Adobe Read is a really beautiful app for uh, basically viewing PDFs that you may uh, get online. So let's just open it up and you can see right here, it's synced to my Dropbox. So what I did was I downloaded one of my textbooks that I showed you in my review video as well. And basically it's opening up. It's a 80 gigabyte file and I showed you the speed test on downloading that. Go check out that video as well. And this is basically the textbook each page, and I zoomed out as far as possible. So, let's see how it looks. So this is the actual screen dimensions right here. So this is how it looks, and we could basically zoom in. It does not restructure or resize the actual, uh, the wording for it to become like a reader viewer mode. However, if we pull down from the settings, it still doesn't have any reader options. So uh, bear that in mind. I won't use First off, let me just say, the Q10, I won't recommend it for reading books of any sort. The screen size is it's pretty small. Uh, you could probably use it to edit a document or something, but uh, I won't really recommend it. So in the viewer, what you could do is double tap and you could basically adjust it if you want. And I could clearly read this. This is totally fine for me. And I could even read all these fine prints right here. I could even zoom into the finer, finer prints. Uh, some inception there and this is clearing up a little bit and you can see information in time uh, purpose which is part in uh, whatever that says so let's do Mac out the speed of it is actually pretty fast in the sense that you swipe down it only drags for so much but it slows down so you don't overshoot it I guess so let's see some diagrams right here and then basically you could see uh, fermentation of grape juice uh, so this is a microbiology book. So the PDF reader is really nice. Uh, you could basic you you could copy words from it and basically paste it in a document. So let's hold this down, and then you could get more options such as dismiss this selection, underline, uh, strike out, highlight, or copy. So I never underlined anything before. So so let's put the order name as. Hey, so then you could see right here uh, that it was underlined in green and you could see the agent must be uh, that stuff right there. So let's go back and select something else. So if you double tap, you just get one word or you single tap. And let's hold back this down. That's really weird. So basically this basically adjusts as it wherever you may or may not want it to copy up to what point. So you could hold down this bottom one and then drag it down, or you could hold this top one down and drag it there. Like I said, I have fat tums as well, so. And then you get more options like highlight, so you can highlight that, and basically you can make another selection such as color, change the color, though, if you want it, how clear or how dark you want the shade to be, and then you could close it. So wait, one more thing I just saw there. So let's click on, so you could go 50%, 75%, 100%, or 25%. So that's really good. Uh, let's just do a 25% shade. So you can see it's lighter automatically. If you hold it down, you could just go 75%. You could see it get darker. And then let's go to 100%. This is this. And you could, you could see the words, by the way. I'll, I'll zoom in for you guys. Just to make sure you guys see the words. Oh, damn it. So I'll go down to 50%. 
I'll zoom in for you. So you could clearly see uh, the difference. So this is 50% and I'll show you to the 100%. So it's definitely darker. Uh, and you could, like I said, you could change the color as well to green, orange, and yellow. Not really red, I don't know why, but I'd actually prefer to have red versus uh, this orange fluorescent. So that's basically pretty much it for this. Like I said, if you're gonna be reading a textbook or something like that off of this, I won't recommend it to you. So let's close the Adobe app down. So what I did before was I siloed apps. Go check out that video if you're not sure. Uh, it's really informative on how to sideload an app and where to find the apps and stuff like that. So I have uh, all of these apps here that I use. Uh, basically everything on this screen and these two rows I sideloaded. So what I sideloaded is, is Amazon Kindle and I think it's in the app world right now, I'm not too sure. But uh, when you click on uh, Amazon Kindle, it basically takes you to the actual app. So what I did over the break was basically uh, downloaded a free book so let's see dismiss and this is the actual free book you could I it works really nice though for books on an ebook reader because the pages are really nice so this book is basically the one you love so I won't keep it too close for copyright purposes uh, so you can't really see much but I'll just show you I'll zoom in and out to show you parts so basically this is how much could hold on the screen not, not a lot, but at least you don't have to adjust it, right? And I was trying to open that actual PDF file in the e-reader, but it wasn't working. So clearly you could see uh, her brother was saying, and then you could read on down here, uh, bank holiday weekend, and then you could turn again, and then you could see my eardrum. So if you swipe down from the top, what you do get is some options at the bottom of the screen here, such as go back, uh, some info, and uh, then you could basically, uh, if you, I'll show you this. So if you tap directly at the bottom of the screen, you could basically uh, adjust or switch where you want to be in the book, uh, depending on the 40%, and it shows you up there as well. So I tap that, and then you could see it changed to Hey Lizzie or something like that. 73%, you saw it change again. So to get into settings, like I said, swipe down from the top, and then you could basically get the option right here to pin it and then you could unpin it and then you could swipe down again and you get more options such as home few options go to uh, bookmark and more so in more you get share sync search and let's go back i just wanted to show you guys one thing so in the view options what we do have here you could basically adjust the brightness of the book the white or sepia or black if you want the black and white. Uh, I think black and white would be really good if you're trying to save on battery consumption. So a little tip there for battery consumption if you really uh, like to read and I don't know you're reading a lot. <laughs> uh, save it for some battery consumption would you? Um, so let's go back to options and change this back to white because I'm so used to pages like that. So in the Blackberry uh, app itself, let's go back and the battery indicator on my camera is on. So on this device, you basically scans and shows you everything that you saw and then it shows you the progress right here. Then you have the store. And next to that, what you do have here as well is home. So let's go to the store and you could basically, once you have an Amazon account that you set up, you could basically search for anything. So like I said, free, cause we don't like to pay for shit. <laughs> well, I don't like to pay for stuff. You basically get, several options like I showed this book right here and I'll download this book for my purpose <laughs> um yeah interesting so just, like I said click to buy it automatically signs you in in the application and you hit read it now and then you basically get the option and you see the download progress as well and like I said you could see all that stuff right there so let's go to the Blackberry app world really quickly I want to show you guys one thing so let's go and type in ebook just type in ebook, let's keep it as general as possible. And what you could see here, it's they recently got this app right here, Overdrive Media Console. But starting from here, so one drag, two drags, so basically I'd say close to 12 apps 
or maybe even 15 apps you have for ebook and most of them you actually have to pay for some of them are free this is actually a really new app i this was not here a couple minutes ago so one more thing i want to show you guys it's in my dropbox what i will do it's i'm going to view files and in the dropbox what i'm going to search for it's a uh, file and this file is a biology book that i added the the code of the file as you can see here it's a DJ uh, VU. It's a bioinformatics book. And if you click on it, you can clearly see unable to open. However, I have an app installed for uh, reading ebooks, and that app name is. Uh, where is it? Anyway, I have. Oh, there it is. Uh, book viewer. And it doesn't, it doesn't show up like that. And you could basically, even if you browse the books, it's not even going to show up, or even if you import a book. So, what I would. Hey guys, so a few final things to note about uh, the documents and stuff like that that I wanted to show off to you guys. Uh, basically, in the email now, I'm going to show you one with the email, and uh, I'm going to show you a document, and then I'm going to show you uh, <clears throat> basically a uh, PPX or a presentation file that I use a lot. So basically, this is how it looks in Document or Microsoft Word, if you want to call it. You can see it restructures all the Word against stuff like that, so it's absolutely normal. Uh, one more thing that I would like to show off to you guys, it's basically if you double tap anywhere, uh, you basically get the Word, and then you could basically, uh, when you double tap like this, and you hold it down, like I said, it's pretty difficult to do this through a screen. So you basically get the edit button right here, or uh, you could basically cut and paste whatever you want. Then you could share this via uh, all your email and stuff like that, and I'll show it to you. So you get BBM, uh, text messages, <clears throat> Dropbox, Bluetooth, NFC, and Remember. And then one more thing, you could basically save this as to your phone if you want. And um, that's basically all the options that you really do have for this. Uh, just give me one uno second. And this is basically viewed in the email. But to get this downloaded, I wanted to show you guys this. All you have to do is basically tap on that button right there. And right here, it usually downloads straight to the phone. But this is opening up right in the email inbox. So that's pretty cool. So if I were to edit this, it basically opens it inside of uh, a Microsoft Word document. So I'm going to close this one off because this was here. This 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 was here since I did my review video, by the way. Just goes to show uh, how much I... Like, don't use the document X. Uh, continue. Wait. Let's just close it. And then discard right there. And then if you open this up, and like I said, you hit the edit button, it's going to show up right there. And you saw the bar <clears throat> with it loading. And basically, you have the ability to... Uh, change and change the dictation of words that you may think wrong as well but i really like the word document on this this isn't for the screen size and the actual uh, appearance how it looks it's quite large and then you get more options here in document x such as closed formatting bar bookmark word count and if you look at this, uh, you could clearly see, comparing it to the old OS, as you guys might have uh, known from before, previously, uh, you could you never had most of these options right here. You never had a formatting bar. It it was it was it wasn't really a formatting bar to be honest. And then you have the ability to do that stuff. So that's it for Word to go. Uh, I what I did though over the break was basically get this basically a world development report on the US that I had to do for one of my classes. So a quick way to find any file in your uh, in your phone is basically just start typing it in. So I typed in WDR and you could see WDR right here came up as well as uh, someone else's uh, name. So basically you just click on this right there and then you could basically open to it's open in slideshow or you could share this. So um, Let's just show to share, and that's what you have basically all the options there, BBM text messages, all that stuff, good stuff. So then uh, we just clicked on it, and then you see right here, we have the World Development Report uh, focusing on education and infrastructure for jobs uh, that I did. This is actually yellow. Not sure why it's coming out so uh, white in the actual thing. So you can see, like, 
Uh, what I did was basically slowly appear and breeze through, and you could actually see that uh, coming through for each slide. You see, like, the words disappear, and then the words reappear and stuff like that. So, you guys are probably wondering what the hell is he talking about. Don't even look at the actual slideshow. You can just look at that stuff just to see how it looks, right? But don't try to read it, just follow my voice. So what at the bottom here, what we do have here, it's edit, and to the next edit, we what we do have, it's shear. And like I showed you how you could shear uh, that file, and then it looks inside of here, it's actually white, and uh, yeah. So let's go to editing now. So when you edit now, what it does, it opens it up from uh, the slideshow that you have here, and it goes straight to the actual slideshow to go, basically the actual app. And in the slideshow to go app, what you do have here, it's a uh, close. This, but on here, what we do have here is to slideshow the pre pre presenter mode, and then you can see uh, basically present. Or and to the right and to the left of that, what we do have here it's notes. So like I had notes, I believe, uh, when I was uh, for for this slide. So you see, the notes come up right, and then you could basically tap that to get rid of the notes. So I'll, I think I have a couple more notes, so you can see the notes right there. So when you're presenting, right, what I've noticed <clears throat> with the phone on the t television, it's this shows up to your audience. But when you hit this button right here, your notes come up and they don't really see your notes. So that's really amazing though. Uh, maybe I'll do a little demonstration of that on my television. So, and uh, to the to extreme right here, what we do have here, it's close formatting bar, notes, uh, slideshow, file info, save as, and share. So, like I said, I formatted it earlier. I don't, I'm not too sure what, what happened. So basically, this is the formatting options that you have. And then you could just basically tap anywhere you want and then hit. So let's say we want to tap right there. And then you see the formatting go up here, right? So, uh, so if you tap right there, let's go and type in, hey, guys, let's subscribe. So you see it auto-corrected as well. So basically that's it. That's everything for the slideshow. And like I said, everything here is integrated with uh, the HDMI. So anything you do, you could basically push it out on HDMI through the DNLA. So what I was saying about that was basically this is how it looks on the phone. And I connected it up to the HDMI on my television. Yeah, it's a really big old school one. But uh, you could basically zoom in and zoom out uh, depending on if you double tap. So... Uh, that's how it swipes, but what I wanted to show you, when you hit the presenter mode, basically it means uh, yes, so begin from the first slide, and the next thing what we do have here, it's the note, so when you tap on a note, you see nothing come up on the first one, but as you, as you swipe through the notes, basically you could just stick on your notes, and you can see the actual slides are right there, and I could keep flipping through my notes, but it always syncs to what uh, the slides has, so that's really good uh, technology right there, so if this is, uh, you could see education and literacy effect on the US job market, it. Uh, let's just go to the notes and you can see what I do have here is nothing but if I switch to the sixth okay so this is seventh okay so this is the eighth slide now uh, and let's go back to the presenter mode uh, no uh, what we do have here it's on the actual slide right there it says 8 out of 22 and you can see right there so that's just a quick video of uh, this stuff you guys will be seeing more of uh, this stuff explained Thank you. What I would say to all of you guys is, if you're gonna buy this for an ebook reader, I won't really recommend it. However, you could clearly see you could make the best of it and get what you need done. I have like a lot of videos up with how to get BlackBerry 8 and stuff like that, a comparison and how to get BlackBerry 10 for your smartphone. Uh, that's pretty much it that I have to say for these vi for this video. Uh, don't buy this phone for an ebook reader. The support for ebook readers aren't there yet on Apple. Uh, the best ebook reader, if you do have a Q10, it's the Amazon Kindle that I sideloaded. Go watch my video on how to do that. So this is Agent Juicy. Thank you for watching. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And uh, see you guys later.